deep in the Arabian desert on the top of a mountain. The real God whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. He could make a religion out of this and maybe conquer the world as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new the kingdoms all over here. I wonder if there's room for wars. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are there Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Oh, the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way. Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here, and Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing, and the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means like, there's an empire there, right in the middle of it. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job of reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay. Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art in the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry, we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, wanna hire me to find India by going around back in the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay, so he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Incan empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. Move over Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. Move over Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent? Said Suleiman wearing an onion hat. What if the Ottoman Empire was really big? Which it is now. What if Russia was big? Said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the Spice Strait. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Shh. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil, Dola. In the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. And it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess 
course he's broke. Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a lick, no, don't. Media is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves, who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the salt of the all on lips and sails of our now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. Britain and France are still hungry. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. I'll blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism in the Soviet Union. The Arabs revolt and Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not-so-Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring him with the angry mustache model. And he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East and they're so excited they raped men came way too hard they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round. Pacific Showdown. United States versus Japan. Fight. Finish it. Let's unite all the nations and have some real peace. peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Sight, Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight. Wait, no, that will be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. It decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Wanna learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. 
The bombs are all over the debris. Some people have no friends, some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent the thing inventor, said the thing inventor, inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we?